Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Baldur's Gate 3. Where we left off last time, we were just leaving the House of Hope. Karlak wants to talk to us. We did kill Raphael, sort of with an explosion, not to the, same, the extent that I wanted to, but that might be because we didn't shoot the satchel charge with the arrow directly, so it didn't actually blow up. Anyways, let's talk to Karlak, see what she has to say. Careful, soldier. I'm burning really hot. <sighs> Had a nice break in the hells. Now that we're back, my engine's in overdrive again. <clears throat> Let's move. A trot will take my mind off being barbecued alive. Okay. Harlak is alive. back That's... to burning, which sucks. I'm going to run to camp and do our respec really okay. quickly. I'll cut your break. What does Withers have to say? Thou hast now a bosom companion. Take care that thou art not distracted on my quest, seeking the comforts of the flesh. It isn't about the flesh, it's about the companionship. Recall that in time, all becomes dust and bone. Except for you, Jurgle, you'll be alive forever. Fate. Does thou require okay, we're going to do a really, really quick respec. If you're looking for the build, you can watch. Just pause as I do this. Because we now have all the equipment we need uh, for basically the end of the game. So... Uh, let's just go like that. If you're wondering why my strength and dex... Er, uh, strength and con are both at eight. It's because we don't need them anymore. Because we have the gloves and the um, amulet that we were looking for. So we're going to blast through levels super fast just so we can get back to adventuring. You'll notice that our hit points are very low, and that's because technically our uh, constitution is 8, which means it's going to suck to level up hit points. We get like 4 per level, which is terrible. It doesn't really matter, though, because the 23 will be locked in when we're at level uh, 12. And basically we're just leveling Monk straight to level 12 at this point in time. Except for our feats, which we get to pick. We're going to take Great Weapon Master, of course, and Tavern Brawler. Our next feat will be at level 11, so we just have to hit accept until we get there. It just goes up by itself basically at this point. It doesn't matter if you take Strength or Con, because they're both going to be locked at 23. And that should be it. Back we go to... Find somewhere to adventure. I think I'm going to try and find the Society. I can never remember exactly where they are, but... Worst case scenario, we find some things to do. I want to say that there's somewhere down here, maybe, or here, possibly, something like that. I never remember exactly where they are, but we'll, we'll find them. It won't be too bad. I know they're in one of these bridge areas. I just never remember which one. It might be that one over there. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. What just happened? Did we take a lot of damage for no reason? No, we didn't take... Yeah, we did. I think we did. Maybe we didn't. I don't know what health we were at earlier. 
and Karlak got out of the line of sight for that spell. That sucks. It's okay. Uh, we'll do prayer of healing. That should help out a little bit more. Let's go talk to the explosion that just happened. Oh, it's the um, the person from Act Two, the drow that took our blood. It's you. Forgive the mess. Your blood is far more volatile than I'd anticipated. Our blood caused that explosion? It's a breakthrough in the sanguine arts, the likes of which the world has never seen. The Grand Matriarch will have no choice but to restore House Ablodra after I present her with my research. But listen to me, rabbiting on about myself when I have you. The prize bleeder on my very doorstep. If you'd come inside, we could discuss something far more exciting than drow politics. Um, sure, Sai, why not? Yes. That is, do follow me. It definitely seems like this is going to be an ambush of some sort. I was kind of hoping for like a nice, quiet lore video, but uh, I'm guessing. We're going to be involved in a fight here, probably. There's a key. A steely key, it looks like. Alright, let's, um... Invisible me. Nope, she can see us. You can't see me. You were seen stealing. What? I didn't Resolving steal anything. This peacefully, we'll Yet. I must have accidentally clicked on something. We'll reload that, that's fine. It's not a big deal. There's definitely a hatch key there, though. I don't want to know what it goes to. Should have turned base moded it so she couldn't see us in time. This is fine, though. Got it. He's going downstairs. I guess we could just grab it after we deal with whatever's going on down here. Where's the hatch? Where's she going? She invited us inside. And is now just wandering around. Okay, I'm just gonna steal the ring while she's gone. If I were a hatch in this over here. Let's take a quick look down here. Sanguine Laboratory. We could lockpick either of these doors. Ooh, there's a trap. We are standing literally centimeters from that trap. That would have set off whatever that is. Okay, so in here we have a dead spectator with nothing in it. Mind flare specimen. Some extract stuff, which is fine. We'll grab that. A beholder iris. A lot of things for um, alchemy. And a breakthrough at last book. Let's read that really quickly. It says, The sample of blood that adventurer gave me was a rare find. It's hot, ready, unyielding. After spinning it for an hour, it didn't separate. After boiling and recondensing it, it reformed exactly the same it was. I think its droplets will be willing to attach themselves to even the trickiest of substances. Liquid gold, sal, sulfur, and mercury, hair, chalk, and clay. It will make a special brew, able to adapt to any elemental quality, but which to choose... I think I'm going to open this door. Mm, fiddly things. There's a dead giant spider in there. That is skeleton. And nothing really else of note. Let's go back upstairs. So she wants to talk to us about something. Let's go see what she wants to talk to us about.
Where is she? Oh, she's outside now. Why did she leave? She wanted us inside of her house and then just kind of wandered off. Ah, a cozy little spot, isn't it? These four walls have witnessed greater alchemical triumphs than the keep of Erngath Durand. And now that you're here, the crown jewel of my research is soon to be faceted. All you have to do is drink Formula Gruna. What does this formula do? When you first entered this home, you saw the incredible latent power within your blood exposed in all its nuances. Formula Gruna will unleash that power within you. Risky, but, um, safe. A potion that makes you explode? Seems a bit drastic. I'm gonna save and see what it does. Just because I'm curious. Alright, hand it over. Oh, marvelous. I've never been so excited for anything in all my days. Just stand over there, far over there, and drink up. Mysterious potion. It only does one to four damage, allegedly. I'm gonna try it, just because I'm really curious. for the item you just damaged. All right, I'll pay for it. Vandalism. It does explode. Where'd she go? Does she still want to talk to us about this? I should speak up. This is incredible! I'm seeing stars! I did lived. You seem surprised. Had you expected me to die? I'd hypothesized you wouldn't, my friend. And you've proven me absolutely correct. You are the world's first detonative exsanguinator. To put it simply, from this day on, your blood goes boom. Big boom. <laughs> it's incredible. All it needs is a spark. This seems quite powerful. Thank you. I assure you, the pleasure is entirely, entirely mine. This research will skyrocket House of Blodra back to the forefront of drow scientific thought. Indeed, it could protect my line for generations. Now, let me offer you a little treat. In exchange for the teensiest vial of your marvelous blood, I'll give you something that'll really throw your enemies for a loop. I'll only ask a nominal fee in exchange. What's the nominal fee? Sure, why not? You really are a fine collaborator. This is just an interesting storyline. Oh, she has a store. I just had to cough there for a sec. We have Hat of Scions or Storm Scions Power. Circlet of Hunting. Not the worst thing to have. Robe of Exquisite Excess. Thunderskin Cloak. Arcane Bolstering. Nothing really we need Until or want. Next time. We got a reward $334. I'm going to pause for one sec here. Alrighty, let's continue on our way. I don't remember that storyline from the last time we played the game, but that might be because I think we killed her last time. I'm almost certain. Alright, that's Facemaker's Boutique. This is... A square of some sort. Let's go look over here quickly. I really don't. I really want to find the. Oh, this is it. This is definitely the. I recognize it now. The society we were looking for. I want to find that uh, mind flare we met in the Underdark. That was my goal for this video. 
and we're gonna go do it right now. But we're gonna... Maybe we should let Jahira lead, actually. We've been so used to Karlak being our talker, but she's quite good at it. That we've forgotten that Jahira is equally good, if not better. She's got 20 charisma, so... The Lodge. Oh. Oh no. I wasn't expecting this. Last time I came here, it was completely normal. Oh no. Everybody's dead. What happened here? Let's see if we can find somebody alive. There is a ladder up in a portal. So let's go the ladder first. We can um, probably speak with dead on some of them. Who are you? Another who needs to learn the difference between right and wrong. A good Yankee youth. And a familiar one at that. Can oh, it be that no. this is the one who hatched from the egg you took from the crash? I do not seek right or wrong. I seek balance. No. You have to know right from wrong. Good from bad. I am Pataris, and I am good. Father was bad. They all were. I tried to make them better. But they were not strong enough. They lacked resolve. Who was your father? Havkalag. He brought me from the shell, raised me quickly, taught me to be good. But he failed me. He was not righteous. He was not innocent. His thoughts were impure. Such evil can only be cured one way. With pain. With torment. And if that does not work, with death. Tell me, are you a good person? Depends on how you define good. There is only one way. The Patarian Code. Do you follow it? What's the Patarian Code? It is honor. Justice. The true form of goodness we all must live by, decreed by Bahamut himself. You are not capable of following its teachings. I know what you did to me. I see the memory of it, right there in your head. You stole me from my people, gave me to that woman, unhatched, defenseless. You let me be brought here so father could hurt me. You are bad. You must be taught a lesson. This is not the way I saw this going, but okay. I wield my anger like a blade, but it does not rule me. I'm no more bad than you are. We at least have... An okay roll on this. So let's get guidance and uh, some bardic inspiration. We woefully failed. We might have inspiration though. We have a bunch of them. Let's try again. There we go. You mean anger is not always bad? But. But that's not what Father said. Father saved me. I was nasty evil thing but his treatments made me good i i'm cured good people offer forgiveness to those who sin not death you're right you're right i i killed him i killed all these people i am no better than any of them the code is flawed, and I am a monster, as he said I was. 
A little bit, yeah. I cannot be trusted. What have I done? You murdered a lot of people. He is a level 12 character. What do we do with him? Can we loot Lady Esther? Actually, can we speak with dead on her? Let's find that out. Right now. The corpse remains silent. Really? This is the moment that you choose to remain silent, Lady Esther? What do you have? Cacophony? Scroll stone skin. Parry up the wound closure. I think we already read this opportunity. Yeah, find the egg of a Yankee. I don't know if we've done the right thing in this particular instance. Should we try and talk to him again and see what he has to say? Maybe. Let's try hey. it. What have I done? That's, that's the end of the conversation. Okay. Let's go back to the society. I thought that the mind flare would be here too, but I guess not. There's a lot of blood. There's just so much blood around. Let's go back down here. There's a hidden room, I think. I just can't remember how to get to it yet. I think it's upstairs in the attic. You have to go into a mirror or something. Okay, so this is the father. The, his father figure that he killed. Do you have anything you want to say? The corpse mm, regards you. Nope. Lifelessly. Yes. Oh yes, he does. Who killed you? Subject. Get lad. Pataris. Why were you killed? Careless. Skipped. Precautionary termination. What were you doing? Proving theory. Genetic morality. I was right. Where's your killer now? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. What happened to you? Experiment. Gone wrong. Not my fault. I disagree. I think it definitely was your fault. The spell's power away. Okay, no more questions. We don't have any more questions we can even ask. Now, unfortunately, there's just a lot of blood, but no bodies. I don't know where all the bodies are, which is weird. Let's go back upstairs and see if we can't figure out a way into the downstairs vaults. I think it's the Magical Journey poster. Yeah, that's totally it. Okay. There's a journal here. We can... Uh, where is it? It's... Somewhere? Can't reach... Oh, it's upstairs. Okay. It's not part of this area. I understand. Let's open the vault. And inside is... Nothing. Disappointing. Okay, let's look around... There's an opulent chest, which is locked. Shouldn't be too hard. Not even remotely concerned about lockpicking at this point of the game. Um, necrotic resistance, I guess, is okay, and we'll take that. It's not like we need any of it, but anything else of note? Therapeutics, vampiric duality. Inscrutable journal. Actually, let's read the inscrutable journal. We followed Mushrib's instructions so far, but something feels odd. We've encountered no creatures along the way. Only alien noises from all directions. Sleep evades us, and the muck on my boots has hardened into a permanent feature. Hopefully we find... Lost more hair this morning. I knew there were side effects to coming back, but I didn't expect it to be so... Eric, I hear him laughing. The lamentations of Omiwans droning like a chorus. What is the purpose of this hellhole? 
He speaks to the walls, the ceiling, the floor. Is he the tomb? Is he... On the last page is a crudely drawn charcoal outline of a bearded devil's face, its mouth agape in a silent scream. Okay, I think we can probably leave. There is a couple pouches. We'll just take a... That one's upstairs. There are a couple pouches upstairs we'll take a look at. Um... But I don't think there's... A, maybe there's something in here? I think we detect invisibility. Can, do we have detect invisibility? We should have permanent detect invisibility with our main character, so let's walk up. Anything exciting in there? No? I don't think there's anything in there. And if there is, it's not super important anyways. Time to leave. I was expecting to meet the Mind Flayer here, but that clearly is not going to happen. Uh, everyone in here is very much dead, but there's no bodies. I'm going to go back down to that portal really quickly. I just want to take a look around briefly around this little arena that we would have been fighting in, just to see if there's anything interesting. We're in the Lodge Basement Docks. Doesn't look like there's any boats or really anything of note here. So, uh, yeah. No traps, please. I guess we're done. What's this metal crate? Nothing. It was the only one that looked kind of different, so... Time to leave. Should we maybe have killed the serial killing gith prodigy? Probably, but... That is apparently not what we're doing right now. It's Alarathan's home. There are people standing outside. At the very least, Rion's there. Big. Oh wait, that's Jihira's home. Right. Perfect. Okay. We've been here before. Good, good. Where else can we go? So we've done the lodge. We've done... I don't think we've been to... I oh, haven't yeah, been to the Facemaker's Boutique, even though it sounds a lot more worrying than it actually is. I think in the next video we'll go do uh, the Blushing Mermaid thing. We have to do this, and we have to do the Zentrum still. I'm going to just explore over here, I think, for the remainder of this video. See what else there is to do down in this little garden region. I think this leads down towards the... Um, Steel Watchers Foundry. And it definitely appears so. Why is the game auto-saving? That's always a worrying moment. I don't really want to do the... Um... the Steel Watchers Foundry quite yet. So let's go... I'm going to try to go to the bank really quickly one more time and just see if we can get in there and steal ourselves that... How are we going to get in there? I guess we can cast Invisibility. Let's just do that. That might be the best way to go about doing this. Cast Invisibility, get past the guards, and then... Sneak when we're around the shovel side? Might work. Alternatively, how good is our jumping skill? Could we jump to the... No, there's no way. I think that side is unjumpable. Although, maybe if we walk down to here? I need you to stand here so I can kind of see you behind the building. There's almost no way that that is a doable jump. Okay. Okay. Let's do the invisibility plan. I think that might be our best bet. Down we go. Okay. We're going to grab Jahir, or not Jahira, Harlak. She has invisibility, which will be very... Wait, that's... Yes. I was like, is that visibility or minor illusion? And go. You've been 
caught oh, lurking you gotta be around kidding the Sword me. Coast's most secure bank without permission. Honest mistake. Didn't mean to. The guards mean to. are understandably upset. You are permitted to... She got booted out. Um, that's okay. We can go do it again. I wasn't expecting the... Steel water to come around the corner at that moment. As long as we don't run into the steel water again, we should be fine. It's already out of the ground, so we can just quickly rob it and then quick travel. And go. Okay, it's there. I don't know what... Uh, let's just turn base this. Lurking around really? the Sword Coast's most secure bank without permission. Ugh. The guards are understandably. Did I save before doing this? I did. Okay, let's just load the quick save. I wasn't expecting it to be trapped. We must have failed a perception check very badly to run into that, but that's okay. It's fine. We'll get this covered. Invisible. Dig hide immediately. Watch out for the steel watcher though. We could just murder everyone in the bank, but that's not really our goal in this game. We're not playing the murder hobo as much as possible. Okay, so let's try this again. Invisibility. Walk down here. We have nine turns, so in theory we can just wait this out. Okay, we're here. It's gone. We did pass the perception check this time. Like a vandal. We should have turned base mode this. Run. I'm nothing. Maybe we can get back in time? Yep, okay, good. This is fine. No one can see us yet. It's better be a really good treasure for this, for all this work. That's 250, that's it? Next? I worked Please really hard to get this treasure. <laughs> For 200 bucks? I am slightly disappointed, I gotta say. Alright, fine. Insist. Well, we did it, I guess. That was not a good amount of money. That was hardly worth our time in any way, shape, or form. All right, so basically we had this point of the game, we have, I think, five or six things to do. So we got Zar, of course. We have the ball stuff. We could agree to help Voss, but we're not going to. We have to meet with Mistra. Okay, so that's not a major thing, but we need to do that for Gale. So we have the ball stuff. That's one. We have the Zentrum. Two. We have the Steel Watch Foundry, three. We have the Blushing Mermaid, four. We have the uh, Shadow Vicania thing, five. What else do I have to do? So one, two, three. Yeah, I think we'll be good after that for the most part. We gotta kill Orin. We gotta kill Gortash eventually, but that's after Orin. We have to kill uh, Ethel again. Destroy the Steel Watch Foundry, which includes going to the Iron Throne. Um, and then we have to do... We're not gonna do the Orphic stuff. That's not part of this playthrough. Because we're not gonna... We're gonna go with the Emperor on this one. And then we have to help Astarian with the Vampire stuff. And yeah, that'll be... Pretty well it, I think. Cool. So next video, I think we're going to go do either the Zentrum to get that done and over with. Or we're going to go to the Blushing Mermaid and do the Ethel stuff. For now, though, I'll leave you here, like always. If you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Others, I'll see you next time. Take care.